the Zigbee. All the Zigbee. All the Zigbee. All the Zigbee. Ziggy time. All the Zigbee. <laughs> Here's what I got. The Zigbee bridge, wireless switch, door and window sensor, temperature and humidity sensor, and a motion sensor. I also have their little $4 Zigbee dongle, which I should be able to just use in place of my Zigbee to MQTT dongle. But I'll have to play with that a little bit and see exactly how it fits in this whole process. My Sonoff Zigbee stick is plugged in to my home assistant computer. To verify that, Go into the system tab and then hardware. And this is it right here. It's connected to the USB port and that's the one I want. I've got another one here, that's the Combi 2, but this is the one from Sonoff. Now we can go to the integrations page and add a new integration. And down at the bottom is Zigbee Home Automation. Right here you have to select the device path of the Zigbee USB stick that you want to use. So I'm going to use this one from Sonoff. Submit that. I'm going to pair all of these, or attempt to pair all of these devices. And again, I've got a mix here of Aquara, Sonoff, and Tuya. This ought to be fun. I expect that they will all work. Let's see what happens. So to add a new device, we go to the Zigbee Home Automation Integration. We go here and click Configure, and then the plus. And it's going to start searching for a device. I'm going to start with the Aquara leak detector. And I don't know if it's necessary or not, but I've had success when I take the sensor that I'm pairing and stick it like right next to the hub. Pairing of Zigbee devices doesn't seem to ever be perfect. So if I have to, I will repeat the process several times until it works. If it doesn't work the first time, I'm just going to keep trying until it does. So I'm pretty sure it'll work eventually. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha, wee! Okay. Lumi Lumi. Lumi Lumi dot sensor. Because it's still discovering, I could just go ahead and fire up another one for it to pair. Oh, it ended, so I'm start it up again. Next, I'll do one from Sonoff, and I'll do the temperature sensor. Temperature sensors are one of the best uses that I've had for Zigbee. Because they're small, the battery lasts a long time, and you can stick them anywhere. There it is. There's the Sonoff temperature and humidity sensor, just like that. Okay, let's do then a, let's do an Aquara one. Let's try this big Aquara button. This big button was giving me grief before. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll try it. Oh, there it is. Man, that's awesome. I really like that the Aquara devices have a button that you can press to pair them. The Sonoff devices pair really easily as well, but they have a little hole that you have to have a little pin or something to stick in there. Not a big deal, but okay, let's try this Sonoff mini switch now. The Sonoff mini switch is a little bit trickier to pair because you have to take the battery cover off, then you have to stick a little pin or something into this reset hole. Watch for the light to blink. Okay, once you get three blinks, now you can pair it. Okay, it should still be in pairing mode, so if I hit search again, hopefully it'll find it. There it is. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Then you have to put the battery cover back on. He's next. We're going to wait for it to stop, and then we'll try and do several at the same time. <laughs> that should be fun. Next, we'll try... Okay, so this one is Tuya, and it comes from Zemismart. This one is Aquara. It says it on there. They both have buttons for reset, which makes it really helpful. And this is the Sonoff version. These are all door and window sensors, so they all activate when they move closer to or away from a magnet. So we'll do all three of those at once. So here we go. Search again. Now we're going to hold this button down until this thing starts to flash. Perfect. And then we're going to hold this one down until it starts to flash. Perfect. And then we've got to stick a little pin in the hole here. Can't feel the button. I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm pressing it or not. So we're just going to take it apart and hold the button down. Okay. 
Now all three of them are ready. We're going to put them right next to the dongle in my little closet. Well, maybe I'm overdoing it. Maybe we should just pair one at a time. Let's try those two again. Okay, this is the sewn off. There it is. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Now, once it's found that one, I should be able then to start pairing the next one. That's probably what I should have done is just waited for it to find it and then start pairing the next one. I'm really happy that this dongle and this Zigbee home automation integration finally lets me use these Zemi Smart Tuya based Zigbee devices because I've had them for a long time and they've just been sitting in a drawer. Now I actually get to use them. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, it found it. So there's the Tuya one, there's the Aquara one. I think I found them all. Now let's try the Tuya motion sensor at the same time here. Okay, there, finally saw it flashing in there. I'm starting to lose track now of which ones I've already paired. Whoops. Oh, there it is. That is the motion, the Tuya motion sensor. Great. The one thing that I did try to pair that didn't work at all, well, I shouldn't say at all, the cube, the Aquara cube. I know this works really well with decons, but with ZHA, all I got was a battery percentage reading. I didn't get any other information. Now that it's found all those, you can go back here and look at all of our devices. Wow. Son muchos. Son muchos. DS01. I believe this one is the Sonoff door and window sensor. Let's see. Yep. Closed. Open. All right. Next. So if you change the name of the device, then it will change the name of the entities inside the device. Okay. Nice. All right, let's try this one now. MS is motion sensor. So that one is this guy. I got to say, of the motion sensors, it's the ugliest. <laughs> but uh, these are a little nicer. They seem to be. This one's biggest. I think Aquara wins on the motion sensor design. They're just It's a little smaller. The Aquara one, I think, is my favorite. And it came with uh, a little mount like this. So you can pretty much put it at any angle you want. Jeez, if I could hold on to it. All right, so the Sonoff motion sensor. Let's change the name of the device. We'll hit this gear up here, and we're going to call it the Sonoff Zigbee PIR. And do I want it to change the entity names? Yes, I do. And then it changes these. Oh, it looks like it does still give it some ridiculous numbers, but that's okay, because that way you could have Sonoff Zigbee PIR, and it would be a different number if you had more than one. If I want to, I can go in here and change these as well. It's funny that it says the battery is unknown. I wonder why. The Sonoff temperature and humidity. Uh, the names are fine. It says EWE link, but that's okay with me. I'm just going to leave them. What's next? The Lumi leak detector. That's this guy. It's pretty important with this one that we know the battery life, so it's too bad that it's showing as unknown right now. Maybe that'll update. Maybe it'll change. This I'm really happy with. I need more of these. I'm surprised it says it's 84 though. I'm going to have to do, let's do some side-by-side -side comparison here. We've got the Sonoff, Sonoff here, Zemi Smart here. Let's see how they compare. 85 and 26. Yeah, 74, which is probably accurate. And 33. Isn't that funny? My laser temperature sensor says it's 74. So Sonoff wins for accuracy, for sure. That can be accounted for. I can change it in Home Assistant, but at least we know which one right out of the box was more accurate. But all in all, very happy. Very happy with the way this worked out. So this is Zigbee Home Automation, otherwise known as ZHA. And for the dongle, I'm using the $4 Sonoff pre-flashed dongle, which is fantastic. And I'm able to pair Sonoff devices and Aquara devices and Zemi Smart Tuya devices.
So that's it. Sonoff is in the Zigbee game. And I gotta say, they did a pretty good job. Their devices are not the prettiest. They're not the smallest. They are the cheapest. And they work. And the fact that they're selling that Zigbee dongle for four bucks, and you don't have to do anything to it, no programming, no nothing, just plug it in and go, that's amazing. And the Zigbee home automation integration for Home Assistant is pretty dang easy to use. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, adios. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.